hope you're having a fabulous day. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we are creating for a blog hop. Pinkbrush Studio is celebrating their brand new February release. I hope you can join us. There's a giveaway to go with it. And I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out the blog hop. Blog hops are super fun because there's lots of inspiration with the brand new release. Today I'm sharing you with you a project featuring the Lantern Botanicals stamp set. Now this creates a beautiful lantern and the greetings in here are just as beautiful. Thanks for lighting my way. It goes really good with the lantern. You are brilliant. You light me up. There's also a few extra greetings if you have follow your dreams and thinking of you. I'm going to be using the coordinating die set that goes with it and I'm also going to be using the coordinating stencil that goes with this suite. Even though this is a lantern, the first thing I thought of um, when I looked at the stamp set was I think with spring coming around the corner I thought this would be a cute little hummingbird feeder also. So Pinkfresh Studio this month has a new stamp set that has a hummingbird in it. It's actually a beautiful stamp set. It's called Pure Joy and it creates this beautiful circle. But when you use the coordinating dies it will die cut out the florals and the hummingbird separately. So I'm going to create with this hummingbird in the stamp set. Um, I'll link this down below if you guys want to check it out, but this is really pretty. You can see the hummingbird here. So we're going to jump in and start by stenciling with our lantern botanicals. I'm going to bring in my stamping positioner. I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock and what I love is you don't have to worry about placement because Pinkbrush Studio does that for you. You know why? Because this is one piece. So you know it's perfectly positioned where you want it to go as far as the die is concerned. Because when you use the coordinating die, it will actually die cut out the candle that goes in the lantern, which we're not going to use today. But it also die cuts out the foliage, which is nice and the lantern is separate. This is like a, a charcoal gray ink and I just like it because I think it reminds me of a pencil and it's not as bold as black but I love this especially when I do um, blending. I'm going to go ahead and press this down with my press tool and this is just so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay I'm going to put this aside and I mentioned that hummingbird I'm going to do my stamping all at once so we don't have to go back to the stamping positioner. But let's take this image here. Since I'm only going to use the hummingbird, I'm only going to ink up the hummingbird portion. So I'll place this image on my cardstock and then I will go over just the hummingbird. That's all I need with, with this one. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and take my stencils. I mentioned that this is a three piece set. They are indexed. So we have stencil one, stencil two, stencil three. I'm going to take, I have my grip mat out. I'm going to go ahead and layer. For stencil one, I'm going to use a light green ink. This is Pink Fresh Studios Mint ink. I'm going to pick up some color and we're going to go ahead and add this. I want a different color lantern, so I'm skipping the lantern altogether. And if I'm inking over my candle, I'm not worried about it because we're not going to use that candle today. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my stencil just so I don't transfer the ink. And for my next color, I'm going to use Pink Fresh Studio Sparkling Rose. And I'm going to go over my lantern here. I'm going to wipe off my stencil and we're going to go ahead and layer stencil number two right over the top. For stencil number two, I'm using Pink Fresh Studios Lemon Whip and I'm going to add some yellow right over our beautiful florals. And I'm also going to go over our lamp too, add a little yellow here. That's it for stencil number two. For stencil number three, I'm using Pink Fresh Studios Ocean Breeze. I'm 
And that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this. And then we get to do the reveal. I'm going to go back with stencil number two. I'm going to replace it on here. And I'm going to add a little highlight with my apricot ink. I'm going to use my half inch blending brushes. And I'll pick up a little bit of ink and I'm going to add a little bit to one side of my flowers. Kind of fade up a little bit. Add a little highlight over here. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and wipe off once more. And then this is our beautiful lantern with our beautiful florals. For my hummingbird, we're going to do the same thing as we did with our beautiful lantern botanicals. I'm going to use the Pure Joy stencil set. Now this is a five peat stencil set and we're not going to need all of them. Just the last three, we're going to need three, four, and five to color in our hummingbird here. Since this is a smaller image, I'm going to use my blending brushes here and I'm going to add yellow over my hummingbird. This time I want to bring in our blue. This is Ocean Breeze. And then I'm going to add a little bit of blue to our hummingbird's back here. Stencil number four, I'm going to go in with my sparkling rose ink. And then I'm also going to go back with my lemon whip and add a little color. Since we want, I want my hummingbird to be super colorful. I'm going to add a little high, oops. I'm going to add a little highlight on the ends. And then we'll take our last. This is a basically a detail layer. We'll tack this down. This one's going to cut. This is stencil number five. For the hummingbird wings, I'm going to bring back that blue ink. We're going to add some detail here. Wonderful. And then for the beak of my hummingbird, I'm going to use my licorice ink. And there is our beautiful hummingbird. Kind of a rainbow color. I love this. I'm going to go ahead and put away my stencils. And then we have coordinating dies, so I'm going to go ahead and line up both of these. We will tack this down and then I will take my Pure Joy. And since I only need the Hummingbird, I'm just going to line up this die. And we will die cut out these images. I went ahead and die cut out my images. In fact, I created one more image using the same color and then die cut the, an extra flourish out. So we have two of these. Okay, and I didn't know this, but the windows in our lantern pop out. Super neat. Okay, now to turn my lantern into a bird feeder, what I'm going to do is take a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to just use one of my blending brushes and my red ink. I'm going to use Berrylicious ink. We're going to put these over to the side. And I'm going to add a little color here. And I think that is going to work perfectly as the sugar syrup that goes behind my, my hummingbird feeder. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim this away. And then while I have this extra piece of cardstock out and my Berrylicious ink, I'm going to stamp my greeting. Now in our stamp set, there is a greeting that says, thanks for lighting my way. I'm going to ink this up with my Berrylicious ink. I'm just going to stamp this on some white cardstock. 
and then I'm going to use the coordinating die and I think this is our greeting is more meant for our lantern but I am going to show you how to fix that I'm just going to tape this down and I will run this through my die cut machine so this is our greeting thanks for lighting my way what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim away for lighting my way and we're just going to take this um, encouraging greeting and turn it into a, just a thanks card so now we just have the word thanks okay that's going to work perfectly for my greeting today okay we're going to put this to the side i'm going to take this piece that we ink bleded i'm going to flip around my lantern i'm going to add some adhesive and i'm going to tack this down just at the halfway mark and then whatever's overhanging i'm going to trim away with my scissors And then we have a lantern turned bird feeder. For my background, I'm using the Slim Lacy Edgers. There's three dies in here, and I'm going to take this one here. And then I have two four and a quarter inch wide pieces of white cardstock, making sure the open to end is here. I'm going to tack this down and run both of these through my die cut machine to create two panels with this lacy edge. So we have two lacy edges, and then I have a panel here that measures four inches tall by four and a quarter inches wide. We're gonna use the same blue ink that we used for our stenciling. I'm gonna take a blending brush, and I'm just gonna lightly add a little bit of color in the center here of this panel. I wanted some blue in my background And I'm not going to go all the way to the edge here. Just add a little highlight. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this panel over. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And I'm going to tack down a lacy edge to the top and to the bottom. I went ahead and put a blue piece of cardstock directly on the front of my card base. My card base today is a standard A2 size card base. And then I also put foam tape behind the panel that we put our lacy edgers on. We're just going to remove the release paper and this is going to go directly in the center of my card base. I went ahead and put some small foam squares behind my botanicals. And then what we're going to do is layer this, create a circle with this. So I'm not going to press down all the way just yet. Let's see. Add this one. Right in the center, kind of overlapping the two. And put some gems on the buds that are in this leaf flourish. I'm using the Pink Fresh Studio Sky Blue Jewels. Let's finish the top piece. Wonderful, I love all that sparkle. I'm just gonna funnel these back and then we're gonna add our lantern. I think that's a lovely spot. Okay, and then you can see the top of the string is tucked underneath that leaf flourish. Now I'm gonna take my hummingbird. I'm gonna double up on the foam adhesive for the hummingbird. We'll add our greeting right here at the bottom, kind of overlapping on our lantern. Using a black marker, I'm just gonna intensify the eye of my hummingbird here. So it's just a little bit darker. And then I'm also going to bring in my Pink Fresh Studio uh, Peach Fuzz Jewels. We're going to add um, some of the smallest ones around our leaf flourish here. We're going to add a little bit of extra yellow.
And then that will finish off my card today. Today we used the Lantern Botanicals. Created a super pretty card. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.